This is how you can use PM2 to make sure your bot never crashes, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to quickly say that if you're interested in getting a bot package custom made by me, go ahead and click the links in the description. All of these have their own features list if you actually go ahead and click on it. You can also get the source code from all of the videos on my channel by purchasing a god tier on Discord or a super god tier on YouTube. Again, all of this will be in the description below if you're interested. All right, so PM2 is a NPM package that basically allows you to manage your bot project. This has many, many different features that just doing node space dot does not actually allow you to do. Uh, for example, you can host multiple uh, different projects at the exact same time uh, using one terminal and you don't even have to have your terminal open. You can close it and it will still run as long as your computer is on. There's a bunch of different things that you can actually do with this, but the most important feature is that if it crashes, it won't actually turn off. It will just continue to run no matter what. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. That's why we're going to be using this package so that if your bot crashes, it will just keep going no matter what, um, which is a very useful feature for a developer of a Discord bot. All right, so to do this, we're gonna go over to our bot file and we can actually go ahead and open up our code. So in here, you're gonna go ahead and install the PM2 package so we can open up a new terminal and we can go ahead and do MPMI PM2 just like that. We're gonna go ahead and give it a couple of seconds to install. And then once it does install, we can actually go ahead and continue with this. All right, so now that we have the package fully installed, we can go ahead and actually start this up. So so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go over to the bot project in the terminal here we're gonna go ahead and do pm2 start and we're gonna get the directory of the main code file so for me it's gonna be index.js and that is within the src so that's gonna be src slash index.js here all right so now as you can see here it went ahead and turned it on and now we have this cool little graphic uh, right here that gives it the ID the name the namespace the version the mode the PID the uptime um, and a bunch of other different things so this is going to be um, all of that information so now our bot is on so let's go ahead and check this out in the discord server all right so as you can see here we have our bot online it is working as it should um, and the bot is on so let's go ahead and run a couple of tests the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is just close out of this terminal I'm gonna close out of the code completely so I'm also gonna go ahead and close out of my other terminal and my code file so now that I don't have anything open but Discord and a couple of other apps. The bot is still going to remain on, and we can even go ahead and test this by just running a command here. Um, we could go ahead and do ask chat GPT, and we could say hi. It doesn't really matter what we do, and we'll just go ahead and give it a couple of seconds to think. And then, as you can see here, it's going to say, hello, how can I assist you today? So that actually does work, and the bot is on, even though we don't have any programs running in the background. So it runs based off of your computer as long as it's online. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up a terminal. So I'm gonna go in here and we can do Windows and we can go ahead and do PowerShell or Terminal. It doesn't really matter what you do. So now that we're in the PowerShell, let's just go ahead and run the first command. So this is gonna be how we're monitoring this. So we can do PM2 and we can do list. So as you can see here, we have our list, the same graphic we had before. Now the reason this is important is because you can add multiple different bots or multiple different projects at the exact same time. So if I went into a different bot file and I started it up, I would have another application running and it would have all this information again for a different app and it would all be running together using PM2. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the most important PM2 commands um, that you might want to actually go ahead and use. So the first one is going to be PM2 logs and this is gonna go ahead and give you the logs of your project. So as you can see here, we have the logs and we could actually probably run this a little bit differently. We could do PM2 logs and we could get the ID of this bot. So that could be zero. And it's gonna go ahead and show me the logs of that. And as you can see here, this is gonna be the logs of just that bot. Um, and this is from a different bot as well. Now, again, you're probably not gonna see a lot of this because it's gonna be blurred out. Um, but that is a command that you should keep in mind. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do our clear command and we're gonna go ahead and clear that console. So now we can do PM2 and we can do M-O-N-I-T just like that. And as you can see, we have our custom monitor right here. So this is a little bit better uh, version of the list. It's actually gonna go ahead and show you um, the logs for each one of these. So if we had another process, we could go ahead and click on that process or I believe it would automatically highlight it um, and it would give us all of that information. We also have our logs from that project as well and it has our updated specs here so all of the stuff is running as well. Now another thing you would want to do is we can go ahead and get out of that and we're going to go ahead and do PM2 reload and we can go ahead and do the name or uh, we could go ahead and get the ID. So the ID of that last one was zero or we could just do index. 
um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the ID. And as you can see, it went ahead and reloaded it. And now if we go ahead and do PM2 mont, as you can see, we're gonna get our monitor and our uptime down here is just eight seconds showing that we just restarted it. So we can go ahead and exit it again and we can go ahead and try a couple more commands. So first we're gonna do PM2 stop and we can go ahead and do zero again. So now it's going to go ahead and stop. See, so our status is stopped. So the bot is going to be offline. And then we could go ahead and do PM2 start. And we could go ahead and do zero again. And it's going to go ahead and turn it on. So thus you can turn it on and off. And you can restart it as well. The last thing you could do is PM2 start. And we can get the ID. And then we can do dash dash. And we can do watch. So it's going to go ahead and turn it on using that ID. And now as you can see, watching is enabled. So what this does is if we make a change in the code file at all, then it's going to go ahead and restart start that project. So that's another cool feature that you could use for this. So that's how you can use PM2 to make sure your bot never crashes and do a bunch of other really, really cool things. If you'd like to, I've listed the PM2 package, which has the documentation in the description below. So you can get a little bit more information on this and you can get touched up on all of the different commands you can actually use this with. Now, PM2 does allow me to actually host Automate, which is a brand new project. It's basically Clyde AI for free. So if you're interested in getting this, go ahead and click the link in the description to add it to your own servers. Just remember the only thing that it cannot do is host it when your computer is offline. As long as your computer is on, I could close out of every single one of these processes in the background and it would still keep the bot on. But if I turn my computer off, the bot will go down. So just keep that in mind. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.